are starting to get contractions. I wouldn't be bothered if they weren't like picking up. But as long as they're having contractions, so we're close enough to go on to delivery ward. Turn down for what? <laughs> What's going on guys? Welcome to today's vlog. It is Sunday the 27th of January and today is a first for, for everybody in this house because we're starting this vlog at 9 o'clock in the evening. 9 o'clock in the evening because I got up this morning, as soon as I got up I went over to the office. I've spent the best part of the day there because we got flooded with orders. It's, it's really funny because Daz said um, to me, I said to Daz a couple of weeks ago, that it was really quiet and Daz said it's because it's you know people like Christmas and they're waiting for payday and I was like yeah I don't think it's that I just think it's got a bit quiet now and lo and behold it was um, order after order after order after order so I went in today I have a I have a printer there we've got a couple of printers that have it's called um, it's a filament detection and what it is is it's like a brick about this big and when the filament goes through and there's no more filament, it automatically stops the printer, the print head comes up and moves out of the way. And it allows you to then go back in, feed some more filament into it, and then it'll start where it left off. It's a really clever technology. And the big printer that, that we've got in there, the Copymaster, that's printing Boba Fett's backpack. For those of you that don't know who Boba Fett is, this is Boba Fett. So it's his backpack. And it's the biggest piece that we've ever done. It's gonna stand at around 35 centimeters tall. It's huge, it's massive. It's a 1.1 a 1 .1 scale. So basically it's movie accurate. It's, it's life size scaled. So um, I've been printing Boba Fett's backpack. So I've had to go back and then reinsert some more filament. I mean, this thing's that big, it takes a whole kilogram of filament. That's a thousand meters it takes. It's ridiculous, it's massive. So when it's finished, I'm gonna show it you. So yeah, on top of that, Sarah's been eating pineapple all day. I didn't really wanna film Sarah eating pineapple because she stood there at the door, she's got no makeup on, but I didn't wanna film her eating pineapple. Are you gonna be in this vlog today? Yeah. We'll check in with Sarah in a bit. It's not gonna be a long vlog today, guys, but you know, we do this every single day, so I kind of had to do um, the vlog today because we're every single day. So Chloe came home. Chloe's had some really good news. Chloe's boyfriend's brother is getting married in 2021 and they asked Chloe to be a bridesmaid, which is fantastic. I think that made Chloe's weekend. They went out, they went to Huddersfield, I think. They had a curry over the weekend. So that was really good for Chloe. She got to pack a little bag and everything else. And then obviously um, we kind of took a back step because we had a, like a really vicious, nasty comment. I mean, I get comments all the time. I get them on Twitter. I get them on uh, YouTube. And most of the time, if they're nasty, I don't show them Sarah while she's, um, especially while she's pregnant, because it'll just set her off. Um, I don't want to, I don't want to upset her or, um, you know, get her worked up over nothing. And it was basically about how Sarah's always had twins and one of them's always died, and that she doesn't deserve to have a baby. I haven't published the comment. I've actually reported the comment to YouTube and. Um, we get these like every six months, but this one yesterday, or last night, was a, a cut above the rest. It really was because it also stated in there as well that we should leave Chloe to have a normal life instead of asking her and making Chloe look after the kids while Sarah goes into labor. I mean, I have to laugh because um, we shown Chloe the message and then she was, she was furious and she was also upset. I'll just tell you something quickly about Chloe. Um, if you're that ignorant to not watch the vlogs and not know the personalities of everybody in the family, you'll know that Chloe answers to nobody and Chloe decides what Chloe wants to do because she's 19. So to say that Chloe needs to get her own life, Chloe is part of this family and she's she's our daughter at the end of the day. She's my stepdaughter, but she's my daughter. That's how I think of her, she's my daughter. and. Um, she thinks it's hilarious that you think that we'd be taking her away from time being a teenager when she's offered to do this. I mean, I shouldn't really be explaining myself on camera and I always fall into that wormhole of explaining myself on the camera, but to that person that's that's trolling us again, um, carry on doing it. Your comments never get through, they're always on approval. So I get to see your comments first and I'll just rubbish them and throw them away and, and report them as spam. Um, Take a long, hard look at yourself, because if at 10 past 12 in the evening, you're writing crap like that, 
your life must be amazing. It really must be. But apart from that, everything's rosy. Apart from the fact that we're starting this vlog at not 20 to 9 in the evening. I've got quite a bit of things to do. Quite a bit of things. It doesn't even make sense. Not even English, proper English. I've got quite a few things to do this evening. I've got to build a Stormtrooper blaster. I've also just put together a Warhammer 40k last rifle that's going out tomorrow. But because we haven't got that rifle at the minute, Sarah's going to take a picture of it and then we've got it as a stock image. Uh, otherwise, I'd have to reprint it again, which I don't really like doing. If somebody wants a custom order, we'll always take a picture of that custom order once it's been finished. So then we have it for, uh, for catalogue purposes and stuff and for when we're selling stuff. So this vlog isn't going to be too clever. It isn't going to be too long, but it's still a vlog. And then tomorrow it's Sarah's due date. It's officially Aurora's due date tomorrow, the 28th. So I don't know what's going to happen. I've got a feeling we're kind of building everything around the 4th now of February when she's going to get induced. So um, who knows? But we're going to check in with Sarah anyway next. By sheer coincidence. So guys, we thought we would check in with you. And we did say the other night that Portia was going to show us a certificate. So Portia is here now and she's going to show us a certificate. With a bit more of a cheery face. <laughs> Aren't you? She was very tired the other night. So she had a little sulk and stomped off down the no, stairs. No, I didn't. Yeah, she did. No, ignore her. So, <laughs> so she's going to show you her certificate now. So this is Portia's certificate for handwriting award. And it just says, Congratulations to Portia Ravenscroft. You have demonstrated a great improvement in your handwriting here. It's a special certificate for you. Well done. Aww. That's because of my science and my English. Because Miss Rowlandson says my handwriting is neat in science. And Miss Williams says my handwriting is getting neater in English. Your handwriting is getting really neat, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's even getting neater than mum's. It's all even neater than yours. No, I don't really write that much. <laughs> the only thing I need to write is like appointments. So, but anyway, again, well done, Portia. Yay. Yeah, so like I say, we were super proud of Portia. We're super proud of all of them because we're all doing really well in school. So, but obviously it's really nice when they get certificates. I'm sure Oscar got a certificate on Friday, didn't he? Oh, did. Yeah. Oscar's still kept his in his bag and forgot to tell me, but I did no, actually I get a message. It's probably my fault because... You did not get a message for me? <coughs> no, because we didn't know. This is what we couldn't understand. We got a, we got a, a certificate, were a these, message. Did, were these girls put me on, but they forgot? I don't know. It just said Oscar. But usually they send um, like a, a message uh, to your number, and we only got one for Oscar. And then I ended up and going up in the assembly she ended up getting wrong, so I was like, I can't understand why they've not messaged and said that Portia was getting one. Did, no, did Miss Williams but end up doing her as late? Saying that, do you, do you have your assembly at the end of the day? No, we have it at the same time as Oscar. Oh, strange. Unless Miss did it late. Unless she just forgot to message me. <laughs> Maybe she was that busy, she just forgot, so... Yeah, Never mind, we'll, we'll let her off. The office ladies are busy. And I am totally not left love flu and a cold. And it's just today just made me feel so run down. And I don't know if you can notice, but my eyes have been proper bloodshot today. And just so sore because and you've irritating. Been messing with them. I don't know if I've got like dust in it or something or something's just irritated it. So but maybe they'll be better when I wake up in the morning, hopefully. So, and me and Portia were just downstairs, like, looking at the amount of makeup that I've got in me, like, drawers and cupboards, and... It's just kind of rare. So, <laughs> there's some on a, a makeup desk, then there's some on the, on the side, on, behind the, um, a, computer. a computer, then there's some in a drawer, <laughs> then there's some under a bed. It's just everywhere, isn't it? It's everywhere. So, I'm hoping that once baby's here and we've got her room sorted out then I can sort my room out and get like a really nice display cabinet and um, with like some nice drawers to put everything in. I want one of them big so. drawers. And then we've just has. been talking about setting up a nice um, set up at my studio once we get it mm -hmm. 
to be able to do proper um, challenge videos from there because we want to start doing a lot more challenge videos and we've had a really, really good idea. So we're going to start getting that into place probably March um, once we can like when the baby buy everything. In. Yeah, once baby's settled in and we could go out and buy everything for the background and we need like a, a small corner so sofa, sofa. So we can like all get on it as a family. So, because I'm just getting a bit sick and tired of, I know it's nice in the living room and stuff like that, but I just want it to feel a bit more personal. And there's not really much we could do in the living room to make it look like a bit of a um, back set for us to be doing like challenges from. And then obviously there's that, cleaning up Vanellope's toys and everything like that whereas if we just had somewhere to go video it and then come home it'd be so much easier so i think that is the plan two hours later all right guys so just got out the shower didn't get out of the shower i'm lying i got out of the bath just had a shave feel a little bit a tiny bit better i need my hair cutting now yeah, Sarah will have to clean the bathroom she won't i've actually cleaned it up. i've actually cleaned it and i've left sarah with the most Lavenderish lavender bath you've ever seen in your life. I've emptied like half the contents of the oil into the bath and Radox lavender as well. So she's in for a lavender tree. This is like the send off because it's, excuse me, I got your cups. It's baby Aurora's due date tomorrow. So we've tried everything and I personally think that she's gonna have to be induced a week on Monday, but she might surprise me. She might come tomorrow. You never know. Claire, one of our subscribers, she seems to think that she's coming tomorrow. Maybe Claire holds the secret that we don't know. <sighs> Only you know, Claire. She might have come today, but Dave didn't do the baby mama dance, so... No, I know. So, just before I end, I'm just going to ask... I'm just going to talk <laughs> to Sarah quickly about... Because um, this is obviously the end of the pregnancy now. There's like a week left and then she's definitely here. And we've got to fill something in this vlog because, as normal, it's, it's, it's a bit of a late one today and it's taken quite quite a lot out of us we're to do this vlog no we're not doing it to fill a vlog but we're just we're trying to entertain you all right so she's due tomorrow we've tried absolutely everything under the sun nothing's working what's your honest 110 percent answer do you think she's going to come before the induced day of the fourth or do you think she's going to come when do you think she's going to come i don't know because even though I had a controlled birth with Alva, I still actually went into labour, didn't I? So, and I think I would have gone into labour with Vanellope, but they didn't even let me go over, did they? They basically just took me in mm. and broke me waters. Yeah. When they couldn't let me go a week over and she probably would have been born naturally. And I probably wouldn't have even have ended up having a C-section like the doctor said at the hospital. Um, don't know, I kind of think maybe three, four days over. I think she is going to come. I don't think, I, I personally don't think I'll get induced. Because I've only ever been induced on one and that was Chloe. Because she definitely wasn't coming out. She was too chubby to get out. Saying that, I say she's chubby, but they always say, don't they, the bigger the baby, the easier it is to deliver. And she was actually the easiest. I, Basically went in at like four o'clock, got induced. My contractions started straight away, which they were really like surprised about. And she was born early, I was at 1.41. So I was basically in and out, <laughs> having her, so, but. Two, three, three or four days. I don't know, I've just got this really, like gut feeling that she's gonna come tomorrow because the others have been born on the 28th. But I don't know whether that's just like wishful thinking. And, you know, I don't want to be forcing me to stay in. But. Yeah, to get more views. Yeah. No, if you could just stay in there for an extra two weeks, you know, we can clickbait all these videos. <laughs> <laughs> Although they won't let you stay in. I'm only going to let her stay in an extra week. But I don't know. Something tells me I will go in labour. Maybe. <laughs> or she's just going to prove me totally wrong now. And I'm going to go in on Monday. I'd even be happy if 
I went into labour, I started getting contractions. I wouldn't be bothered if they weren't like picking up. But as long as I was having contractions, so I close enough to go on to delivery ward, and at least then they could do a controlled birth again. But I'd be able to set up, be set up for an emergency section. At least Dave wouldn't need to go home then, because you know how it is. If you go onto a ward, they just like it's visiting hours, and I don't want to be like, you know, Dave's going to be quite far away. So if they say baby's going to come, it's will Dave make it? So. I really just want to be able to just go in and be in labour because it's just always one big worry in it. All right, so I'm going to end today's vlog. We were going to get some pictures done, but I think we're going to do them tomorrow, aren't we now? We'll set them up downstairs like we did last week and it'll be pretty easy to do because, um, well, it just is. It's just easier to do in the day, I think. So I finished this today. This is Princess Leia's blaster. Um, pretty cool little blaster this is going to be going on the shop obviously and i was going to show you the other bits but i haven't really got the time because they're still gluing although i've got this this is one of the stormtrooper guns this is a big 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 gun that's getting made that looks pretty cool as well so i am going to end today's vlog i'll actually be glad that i've ended today's vlog start again tomorrow properly we just need some rest um it's all go 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 at this end it really is so it's do not, not forget even that is it like i've basically been lying around for the last two days just so tired yeah because i've had the cold and the flu and i've not really had energy to get up and do anything no but tomorrow is another day so do not forget to smash the like button subscribe if you're not already make sure you click the notification bell it does nothing make sure you leave us a comment and we will see you guys tomorrow because we do this every single day <laughs>